Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Since last time, I uh, just slightly rearranged my party. I brought in Luca for Marley, because uh, Marley's already learned all of her texts now, thanks to all those uh, turrets we fought in the last episode. Um, the only real changes I made was I gave her safe helm to Luca now, because, well, she could use it, and I also gave Frog the dash ring. Uh, but really, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, let's check out what's changed here at the village while we were gone. Now, the new here sells some new equipment, um, including the Aeon suit, which is better than those elemental absorbing armors that we have, but we're going to get something much better shortly anyway, so I'm not going to bother with it. And this is the lady you told to plant the seed, that, or the plant that the Guru of Life gave her earlier in the game. So if you missed her at the Zeal Palace, you can still come here and tell her to plant the plant. So there you are. And that'll trigger a side quest, which, well, we're not that close to it, but we're getting there. So, a suspicious person at, at the North Cape. Hey, that kid has Alphador. Are you J Yanis? No, no, he's not Yanis. Yeah, we, we heard about the freaking Sunstone already. And, huh, a stranger came for someone. Could it be Chrono? Well, we saw him vaporize before our eyes, but we can't defeat Lavos, so we're just going to delude ourselves into believing that he could have survived that. Well, let's check out what's at the North Cape here. We got nothing better to do. Oh, you know what? Um, I should uh, heal up, so I'll because uh, uh, there's no inn here, and I hadn't done that yet, so I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, we're all healed up, so let's go and see what's going on here. Could it be Chrono? No, no, it's Magus! So this is where you've been hiding all along! Well, not really, actually. He was, um... Well, I don't know where he was all this time. If you came here earlier, before the... The... What is that? The Blackbird scene? Um, he's, he wouldn't have been here anyway, so... You used to live in the Kingdom of Zeal. How can that be? Didn't you live in, uh, you know, 600 AD the whole time? Well, yeah, that's the idea. That's what happened to us. Yanis and... Is that Alphador? What happened to his colors palette? Well, let's see what's going on. And they summon Lavos, just like before. Okay, we kind of saw that. And, whoa! He's creating gates! Well, that would explain a lot. What, I mean... How did that they explain how they got to where they were? And, oh no! Yanis! Where did Yanis get sent to? And Lavos is like, Ha ha! Well, sort of. That's about as much laughing as you get out of Lavos. Oh! So that's how these guys got to where they were in the other timelines. And where did... Oh, this is the Guru Gaspar. Uh, I guess he must be the Guru of Time. Oh! So he's the old man at the end of time. And Yanis got sent to 600 AD where he met Ozzy. Guess who Yanis is, viewers, if you haven't figured it out yet by now. Yes, that's right, viewers. Yanis is Magus. Apparently, for some reason, when he was stranded in the Middle Ages, he changed his name slightly, I guess. And he was just trying to summon Lavos to destroy him, but apparently in the original timeline he failed miserably. And he was sent here after we, try, after we tried to stop him, whereas we were sent to the prehistoric age. So, just trying to clear things up for you. It can be a little confusing, I know. Oh, he's trying to get a little cozy with the queen, eh? All right! Well, yeah, we kind of noticed that. Hey! How dare you! How dare you insult him! Uh-oh, it's that music again. You know what this means, viewers? Yes, 
We must fight Magus and defeat him once and for all for all of his evil deeds. Ha ha! Okay, so first things first. Um, well, if you have Frog here, um, your best attack is Leap Slash. Um, if you have Frog Squash and your HP gets low enough, I guess you could use it, but unfortunately this is the best we can do right now. If you don't have Frog in your party, um, you'd fight him with your entire party against Magus, but I wanted to have Frog here for the epic one-on-one -on -one duel that you've all been waiting for. Um, yeah, so just keep using Leap Slash on him, that's really all you can do with Frog alone. Um, even if you have, well I suppose you have to have the Masa Mune because it's a key item. But um, I don't think it does anything to Magus this time around, or even if it does, it's just a weaker weapon. So you might as well just use your strongest physical attack on him, because apparently uh, when he had his power drained by Lavos, he no longer has his elemental shield anymore. So yeah, I mean, physical attacks work on him, magic works on him, doesn't particularly matter. He's just a normal enemy now, but he still has the same amount of HP, 6,666. Supposed to be something evil or something? I don't know. You know, my HP gets down to about uh, 200 or so, maybe 300. I might want to start thinking about healing. Uh, I do have Cure 2 for Frog, so that's good. I found it interesting that uh, they actually gave Cure 2 to both Frog and the Marley. It's the exact same spell. Uh, basically restores you to your maximum HP. Uh, also, they get a dual tech called Double Cure, which basically restores everyone's maximum HP. Yeah, we might want to start thinking about healing now. Apparently, Frog is... Oh yeah, that's because he has the Rainbow Helm. I was wondering why Lightning wasn't dealing as much damage. But yeah, um, he also has the Red Mail equipped, which protects him against fire, but... Once again, I seem to be quite adept at avoiding the spell that I want Magus to cast on me. Until now. Thank you. After I already healed myself. Thanks. Thanks, game. Shouldn't have much left fight... fight... much fight left in him now. <laughs> Come on, Frog, you can do better than this. You must exact your revenge for being turned into a frog. That must be quite embarrassing. Although now you can jump in the air really high, so that'd be a pretty cool ability to have in real life, huh? I mean, magic is cool and all, but man, imagine if you could jump like 30 feet in the air. Impress all your friends, you know? All right, some good healing. We, that's what we needed. Well, you were the one who predicted Chrono's death, and now it's your turn! Yes! We got him! And Frog's like, Yes! Yes! Revenge! Sweet revenge! Ah Ribbit. All right. Frog's going to be human again. And... Why is he telling us to find Gaspar the Guru of Time to find Krano? What does he have to do with anything? I guess he really wants to save Krano after all and stop Lavos. And we get the amulet. That's the one that Scala gave to Mianus when we first met Scala there. And uh, it protects you from all status ailments. It's a, uh, a an accessory that you can get, but... Man, maybe Magus wasn't such a bad guy after all. Maybe I was too hasty in killing him. And how can Gaspar, the guru of time, help us? Can we save Krano after all? What if I chose not to fight Magus? Find out all this and more next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!